Hello, this is a case of laparoscopic repair of incisional hernia. This patient was uh, operated for the open hysterectomy, abdominal hysterectomy, by fencil incision, and then she developed a huge hernia in which the bladder was also going. A part of bladder was also there. It's just suprapubic, and we can see the two big hernias are there. Now one of the challenges is that you cannot do the eye palm technique here because the tacker which you will use to fix can pierce the bladder. So here we will do the re removal of the sac and then we will separate the bladder and after that half of the mess we will put the intraperitoneal and half of the mess we will put preperitoneal. So here the peritoneum is getting dissected bladder is pushed down and slowly the pre pocket has to be made although it was a quite big hernia so we have decided to put a 15 by 30 centimeter size of the mesh so that it will cover and uh, retropubic we are planning to put a small portion of the mesh retropubic and fixing on the either cooper ligament and after that remaining mesh half of the mesh we will keep intraperitoneal so bladder is being pulled down and slowly the peritoneum is separated and uh, because this patient has a scar tissue so peritoneum is quite adherent to the abdominal wall and slowly you can separate it with the harmonic. The patient has a little bit erectus diathesis also but in this we will put a polypropylene and polyurethane mesh that is a quite dense mesh and this can repair the defect of the rectus diathesis also. So one of the semi-traumatic grasper is pulling the peritoneum and slowly the pre-peritoneal space is being performed. Here we can see the remnant of the medial umbilical ligament and inferior epigastric vessel is also laterally visible that is already peritoneum is covering the inferior epigastric vessel. Care should be taken that uh, we should keep ourselves as near as possible to the abdominal wall because in these patients the anterior wall of the bladder is quite thin and sometimes it may be possible that it will rupture. The clean blue is also injected sometime at the end of the surgery into the bladder to see the integrity of the bladder. Now we are on the left side somehow at the space of the radius that is slowly separating the peritoneum down.
in the mid line there is a lot of a scar tissue and proline is also visible that is due to the previous uh, laparotomy scar in this patient now this side cooper ligament is visible that is the right side of the cooper ligament is visible and entire bladder is slipped down now energy is minimum used entire sac of the hernia also have to be pulled out now we see the cooper ligament of the left side is also visible this is the cooper ligament of the left side in the mid line why it is necessary to separate it because the hernia is all over in all those tissues the peritoneum has to be separated in the mid line it is quite adherent because of the previous scar tissue and slowly it is separated now the entire bladder and the peritoneum of the hernia defect is pulled down now we have reached up to the pubic symphysis bone here this is the pubic symphysis bone and now entire bladder is separated the bladder and urethra in the middle is also visible and either side entire peritoneum is deflected now this is the mesh we have to introduce the mesh in this pocket half of the mesh we will put pre-peritoneal and half of the mesh we will put intra-peritoneal it has to be pushed and it is fixed on the cooper ligament either side and then multiple tackers will be fired all around to fix the mesh this mesh has a blue color is polyurethane that will be towards the bowel and the white color is polypropylene that will be towards the abdominal wall and with the tracker we are fixing the mesh this is pro tack that is titanium sometimes you can use the absorbable tackers also care should be taken that the tacker should not fire over the inferior epigastric vessel and the, from the other abdominal wall has to be supported
now this bladder peritoneum we will fix it together with the mesh so that it will cover at the end of the surgery methylene blue will be should be ideally injected into the bladder to make it sure that there is no injury to the bladder in the middle where the rectus was there couple of tacker is fat and all around it can be easily separated we call polyurethane is a absorbable material so there is no chance of the adhesion for the portion of the mesh which is exposed so thank you very much for watching this video this was a simple laparoscopic incisional hernia repair in this case you cannot expect to cover the entire mesh with the peritoneum and it is not necessary also because this mesh has very little chance of adhesion so thank you very much